What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing is Therapy. Let's get that therapy, boy. I know you guys saw the title in the description, y'all. I want to get straight to it. It's been about five going on six months since I first got my John boat. My first John boat, y'all. Man, it's been a blast. It's been a roller coaster, too, y'all, because I've been doing a lot of mods, adding different things. Uh, if you check out that video, that'll be linked in the info cards up there. That's when I first got the boat. That's how it looked. That's before I added everything that I think makes the boat more convenient, just easier to go. You can bring out your family, hot days. You got every all the bases covered, all right? I got more seats. I got different look for it, guys. So if you already checked out the one with me installing the Hydro Turf, check out that one too. But let's check out this boat, y'all. Six-month update on the John Boat 1448 Weld Build Flat Bottom. Purchased from Backwoods Landing, y'all. It's now the Fishing is Therapy boat and the family boat as well, y'all. Let's take a look. I'm excited to show you all. All right, there she is. All right, we're going to start with a few additions. So what I did, all right, coming from the beginning is I knew that what I wanted, right? I knew I wanted a uh, anchor in the front of the boat, all right, in the bow. I knew that. But I went and upgraded. Look, I got actually two anchors in here, <laughs> two anchors. This one here is a 25-pound anchor because we were going to Coosa River, and it would just drag, guys, and it's the one with the grips on it, you know, with the hooks, all right? And I have the other one just to add extra weight in the front. Why? To make me plane out faster. And I went ahead and added the rod holders in the front. Why? Because whoever's sitting up in the front, they can have their fishing rods here so they don't have to lay them all on the boat. And, you know, people, if you see other boats, that's what happens, guys. I noticed that and I wanted just more convenience there. All right. I mean, you guys can't overlook. Look, the hydro turf. I added that, guys. It's early spring right now. It's not officially spring. I even put some on my uh, on my foot pedal right there. <laughs> But I put the hydro turf all throughout the boat on my hatches, on my floor, and that's a tread plate floor. Okay, that was a tread plate with hydro turf installed on it, and this is duck camo, duck camo. All right, put that through all out the boat on the hatches, on the sides. Look at that, man! It turned out so well, guys. And that's with 3M backing. Okay, don't mess with the with the uh, don't mess with the glue if you can help it because it's so much better without the glue, all right? Hold on one second. Yeah, guys, so, but go ahead with the 3M backing. It's the best, it makes it so much easier to install, all right? But I went ahead and added, when I first had this, I did not have a pedestal seat um, for the front. I went ahead and purchased another Millennium seat, all right? I only had two. Went ahead with the 11 inch base, and this is just the one that you drop in. It's not the one that you screw, all right? The screws come in, in, installed with the Millennium Boat Seat. This is the best seats I ever had, ever set on. Look at the mesh, it's sturdy, man. Holds over 250 pounds, easy, sturdy. I added that in here, 11 inches above. Works out great. I didn't bolt down my um, pedal, pedal yet because I can move it when I turn to this side, right? When the seat is turned there, I can move it there. You see, you can move it around. And now since I had the hydro turf, it's non-skid. It won't even move if I set it there, all right? I'm still rolling with the 45-pound uh, Minn Kota Edge trolling motor. I got that dropped down just because I was installing the tur turf, all right? And this is one of my newest additions. I don't know how it'll turn out just yet, but I got a Bimini top. <laughs> I got it, guys. Yep, finally got it. It's a uh, six-foot... Uh, 46 inch high Bimini top bought from Amazon. I can drop the link in the description for you guys for that You know how I do I drop my descriptions my links for everything So we got that Bimini saw top install. I'm yet to try it out and see how it works I think I probably would have wanted it a little bit further back right there You see but the good thing I got the one with the adjustable strap So I'll be able to tilt it back if need be all right another one. I needed rod holders the Canon rod holders so I was able to get those I got for each side, patrolling, being able to troll, put that on the side. If you're anchoring up, 
under the bimini top eating lunch you just want to set your poles out that's what you need these rod holes are the best sturdy about 15 dollars a pop and well worth it okay have the buck uh the uh the uh rod holder uh belt buckles here i got those from academy i love those those work out great i'm able to put five to six rods here lengthwise and then if i have a rod that's over seven to eight feet it goes straight under there so it's kind of like my rod locker it's kind of like having a rod locker i added more tackle web storage for my cup holders i have a cup holder for each seat if i put a seat right here in the middle that the passenger right there also has a tackle web storage holder all right and i added hatches locks all right i'm sorry about that the sun's in your eye but i added locks to each one of my things for security purposes this is the bimini bra right here this is the bimini bra all right i have another one i added more heavy duty straps in the back to keep this where i wanted it because i needed to move guys i came down to the inches on this thing <laughs> where i wanted this bimini bra to lay between my hatch door and my crate. I didn't wanna to have to cut my crate or anything, so I had to move this just over, and I was able to mount it down. But back here, I got a 15 pound claw anchor, river anchor as well, all right? This is just the, for my gas tank down there, and that's a three gallon tank that the boat comes with. Still running a 20 horsepower to hot soup fuel injected. She's been beautiful. I only had one slight issue, and when I ran into that issue, it was really, I don't know if it was self-inflicted, but what I think it was, um, what I think happened was my emergency. If you, uh, that emergency, if that is not fully on there, the boat won't start. But what I also think it was, I went out, it was super cold, guys, on minus temperatures. The boat was sli sliding down a ramp because people wouldn't let their the water on their um, boat run off when they pulled it out of the water. The whole ramp was slick, icy, sliding down. So when I got in the boat to start the boat, the motor wouldn't start. I think because of the fuel had got a little bit cold in there, I had to wait a little bit. And when I waited, I started right up, it's electric start. So I was like, come on, it should start up every time. That was my only hiccup since then. The boat has been great, I haven't had any issues. But I think when I took off the, um, uh, the emergency strap uh, lanyard, and I put it back on, I think that may have been, it may have just been slightly loose. So it may have not been that it was super cold outside. All right, but anyway, let me tell you one that I just recently added. I haven't tried out yet. I, I've, you've seen on my videos, I'm using the, the YOLO stick, right? The YOLO Tech Power Stick 53, all right? So I bought that, but guess what? This is something, we went out on the Coosa River and I had a rubber one. It's just pressurized. In fact, this one here was pressurized. You just push it in. And so we went I went to kind of dock the boat a little bit to use the restroom really quick. Man, my whole pole fell in the water. I thought my GoPro was water damaged and everything. So I immediately, my first purchase when I got back was to come home, replace this um, stern light with a locking stern light. See, so it'll lock. See that? That locking pin right there, if you can see that little metal pin, I was able to lock, now it locks in place to where it can't pull out because I don't want to re-experience that again. I, I don't want to deal with that, all right? Another thing, when I'm on the boat, what I would do is I would put my um, phone in my cup holder, which would alleviate me, you know, it being all over the boat, my phone. But what that did is when I wanted to have a drink and there was other passengers on the boat, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I went ahead and got a heavy-duty mount. I went and got a heavy-duty mount uh, for my phone. So that I can have it right here accessible. Look, ball and joint mount. Love that. I still have all my lanyards. Look, I have everything corded. So if the boat, if anybody uses uh, line snippers, pliers, anything like that, because you know how that goes. Sometimes people, or there's a wave and you drop it over the side. Well, I don't want to lose any of my things, guys. So go ahead and just invest in some of those little cords, little lanyards to keep your stuff there. Of course, we still got the tackle web storage uh, holder. This is the large size and it holds everything, all right? That little plastic in there is what I use. I put my worms in there, the cup in there so the dirt just doesn't get all over the boat. And I have also my fishing net in there. It's the collapsible floatable one. Uh, of course, I got my safety items. My, um, I have my uh, fire extinguisher there. You have to have that pressurized. 
And then here we go. I love this one. It allows me to sit on this captain's chair and be able to reach my mount. It extends far out like that. And it's still the Garmin Striker 7SV, right? And this one here is the, uh, this is the Ram mount, you see? It's a RAM mount, and it basically came in a one-part set, like from here to here. So then I had to buy an extension. I realized I wanted it further out so that I can reach easily because before I had to bend over kind of to see it. Now it's perfect. It bends, it locks up. See, you adjust it. Look, look at that. Swivels out of the way. It's so portable, it's easy, and I have it on my hatch lid. See, put it out of the way. Man, I love that thing, that RAM mount. Made my life so much easier because... When I'm fishing here from the bow, see? When I'm fishing out the bow, look, I can still see my fish finder. I can adjust it, whatever, and still see it. So I don't need two fish finders taking up my deck right here or storage space. I can have that space for myself or I want to put a little bucket here or a cooler or whatever if I'm just fishing from the front primarily. So guys, these are my mods. I really, really like them all. I love how I can <laughs> swivel that thing around and keep everything going. We'll see how the Bimney works. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, the video, but we're still on the uh, Backwoods Landing trailer. This trailer has been immaculate. It's been great. Shout out to Backwoods Landing, right? And shout out to Well-Built Boats, okay? I'm still thinking about putting my logo somewhere here, the Fishing and Therapy logo. You guys tell me what you think, if you'll like it. And then here, uh, you guys are probably like, what are these clips? This is where I clip my cooler to. I clip the handles right here and i'm able to easily come in unclip them and take my cooler out so my cooler sits about right here if you notice in any of my videos it sits about right there that's my cooler rod holders look at that duck camo 1448 john boat all right so guys that's the 1448 john boat right i hope you guys love the video like the video subscribe share it i'll give you guys a year update as well on the boat and see how that goes hopefully the boat everything goes well i'm pretty sure it will this boat is very sturdy the motor is very reliable trolling motor is very reliable and i want to see how this duck camel does i'll give you guys an update regarding how the hydro turf does just remind me if i don't get to it sooner than later but after the summer i definitely want to do an update and just let you know how it's holding out all right guys but thanks for staying tuned it's been great I, i've been modifying this boat so right now at this point I'm officially complete with all the mods that I actually wanted for the boat, guys. So thanks for staying tuned to another episode of Fishing is Therapy, y'all. Peace.